Hello and welcome back to my channel. Sorry that again I have missed another week for my videos. As I always say, sometimes my real life just gets in the way and getting around to filming and editing a video doesn't always happen for me. Um, but, you know, other things sadly sometimes have to take priority and I am back this week with a Primark haul as you can probably tell from the title of this video. This is quite a lot of Primark stuff. Um, it's mostly Harry Potter related but there is some Disney and other homeware as well. Um, I bought all this over the course of like the last three weeks. I wasn't going to film this today but it's literally just sat in the bags and I really just kind of want to get it out and be able to like put it away. So the first two things I got are actually Disney related. The first thing was actually a present off my mum and dad, bless them. They picked this up, I think, in like Manchester or Leeds for me. It's not normally kind of my cup of tea, but I think they bought it me for our holiday as like my toiletry bag. Um, and it's cute, it is really nice. Um, and it's just this like Minnie Mouse uh, kind of pink, on the bigger side, toiletry bag. It has one large pink bag and it also has this kind of pull out um, black and white spotty one which again is a really really nice little like addition to it um, and this was £6. One thing I do really like is the zips are like the, some like, um, like gold plated uh, Mickey Mouse heads which I think is a really nice touch. So I think this will probably be our holiday one. I don't obviously have much use for toiletry bags on like a day to day basis because I don't really go anywhere as a rule and they do come in handy sometimes for storage and things so I think after our holiday it'll probably be used for that but I think this is probably a good size to put like um, toothbrushes and like the shampoos and things like that in so I think that this is going to come on holiday with us. The next thing that I got, if you are new to my channel there are a couple of things you should know. One, I am a Hufflepuff and two, I really really love Winnie the Pooh um, and I picked up this bag which I hadn't seen this anywhere like in terms of um, like the Disney Find Instagram and like Facebook pages, no one had put this up yet and I saw it hanging on just like literally just a random hook and I was like I'm so having that. Um, this is a tote bag, if you didn't know also I tend to buy a lot of tote bags, they are my go-to bag because I don't buy carrier bags anymore um, and this is a obviously Winnie the Pooh one and it just has Winnie the Pooh with a pot of honey and it has the line what could be more important than a little something to eat which is a motto to live by as far as I'm concerned. It has some really nice light blue straps and the best thing about these kind of cotton Primark bags is they are massive. They kind of, rather than just having like two sides to the tote, they have almost like a side compartment and you can get so much in these bags. I love them. I've got a, um, it's a Hufflepuff one and I also have a Beauty and the Beast one that does this and they are by far my favourite tote bags to take with me just because I can get so much in them. Oh, and this was um, £3. The next thing that I bought was also for our holiday. It is a towel and it was in the sale. Um, it's a beach towel, obviously. Um, and there was actually a Harry Potter Marauders map one, but I really, really didn't like the feel of it. So I ended up going for £5 reduced from £10. It is a pizza themed one. Um, I adore pizza. I don't know anyone who doesn't adore pizza, um, but I'm a big, big fan of it. I needed a new beach towel. I don't actually own a beach towel because I don't ever go on holiday, um, so I thought this would be really good just to take with us for the like pool mornings and when we go to the water parks. The next thing that I got was more of a practical homeware piece for me. Um, I have started very much getting into, god this makes me sound so old, I started getting into using like bars of soap rather than um, like pumpy hand wash um, and that's as sad as my life has become um, but the one thing that I didn't have because I've never really used them properly before was a soap dish which is something that everybody has but I used to always just get rid of mine because I never used to use bar soap um, but I've got that much in the cupboard that I thought I might as well just start using it so I decided to pick up the Primark Home Marble Soap Dish. I don't actually have anything else marble in the bathroom that this is going in. Um, it's actually all grey and rose gold so it doesn't actually go with any of it but I just thought this was really really nice for it. I'm not really too bothered, it's only our en suite so I'm not too bothered about being all like matching and everything in there and it just looks something like this and that was £3 so I thought that was a pretty good deal just for like a standalone soap dish. 
And then the next thing that I picked up was a bit of a whim, really. Um, this isn't the sort of thing that, as a rule, I would just get unless I really, really like them. Um, and I decided to pick up this candle. Um, and it's a one of their premium candles. And it's the Wild Sage and Cedar. And it says it burns up to 25 hours. I quite liked the pot it was in. It's in, like, a black matte with, like, this kind of cork effect. Um, and this was £2.50. But it smells very very fresh, very woody, very grown up, and I quite like that scent at the moment. Um, obviously I've not burnt this yet, so I don't know how well it's going to burn, but it will eventually obviously be in an empties video, so I'll let you know then. Excited to burn this. If you have any recommendations for any of these like candles, or how well they like do smell, please let me know, because I am interested in these, because obviously I don't mind spending £2.50 on a candle if it's going to smell okay, but I don't like it when they don't burn properly and you spend a fortune on them. So I will let you know how this is, but if you do have any recommendations, please let me know. The next two items that I got were actually from a range that I feel has been and then went and has kind of come back again. And I don't, I think it's because obviously they do the um, festival tours every single year and it is some Friends merch from the TV show. The first thing that I got, these are actually for a Christmas present for a friend, but she is a massive Friends fan. Um, and they are some Friends shoe liners. And one has You're My Lobster. The other one has a coffee cup with the Central Perk logo on there. And the other one says We Were On A Break, which I think these are very, very cool. I like these ones. Um, and these were only £2.50. So I think just for like a little stocking filler, these are absolutely perfect. Um, the Friends range is actually really, really good at the moment. But, as I've said a million times, I am still trying to kind of cut back in the sense of only buying things that I 100% want, rather than things that I, I like, but I could leave it. There are some very, very cool things in there at the moment. There are, um, there's a very cool cappuccino mug with Central Perk on, but again, not a coffee drinker. I don't love the whole Central Perk theme, um, so I didn't buy that. There's some quite nice candles, but I genuinely didn't like any of the scents, so I didn't buy them. But one thing that I did buy, which I freaking love, is this. And this is a photo frame, and I mean, it doesn't really take much explanation if you are a Friends fan, but basically this is the frame that sits on the back of Monica and Rachel's door, um, with like the little peephole in it. And this is a photo frame. Now, this is actually one that, again, I'm going to give to the friend who I bought the, the, um, the socks for. But this is actually just a standalone, um, like, photo frame. You know, like, the kind of photo frame that just sits on the side. It doesn't actually go, like, on a wall. And I actually have one. And what I've done is I've actually ripped off the where you would normally stand it. And I've actually put two, like, command strip things on the back. And it's on the back of our bedroom door. So you can kind of edit this, I guess, to however you want. Um, but, yeah, I think this is very cool. And this was only £4. So if you're a Friends fan, I think this is very much for you. And now I'm going to move on to the Harry Potter things. As I said, there is quite a lot of stuff here. Um... I don't know really what happened with the Harry Potter range. They've suddenly just come back with a whole lot of goodness. Um, they've obviously kind of upped their Honey Dukes game recently, as I put in the hole that I will put here, um, where I bought the big Honey Dukes pillow. Um, but I just think that they've done really well. So I did buy quite a few things. Now, the first thing that I picked up, um, as I mentioned in the uh, start of this video, I am a Hufflepuff. And I am always on the hunt for Hufflepuff related things, but as I always say in my videos, the Derby Primark is rubbish. So I ended up going to Stoke, where I used to go to uni, and the one in Hanley is one of the best Primarks I've ever been to. Um, and I managed to find for £6 the Hufflepuff short pyjamas. And I am so happy I have these, but they are just the yellow and grey striped shorts, and then the top just says uh, loyalty, kindness, honesty and friendship and I really really like that and yeah I mean I am a Hufflepuff so obviously I'm going to like these but very happy that I finally have them. I bought them in a large um, purely because I think they look quite small um, and obviously when it comes to like nightwear and things I like things to be baggy and comfy so I think that that's probably going to be the best size for me. The next thing that I got was a gift off my mum and dad. She said that this was like, I think a pound in the sale in Primark or something. So it's quite cute that she got it me, I guess. Um, and it is a little Gryffindor pencil case. 
I don't have much use for this. Um, my other half is a Gryffindor, so I might just kind of palm this off on him. Um, you never know, he might just chuck it in a bag somewhere. Um, but very, very sweet that she got it me. Um, you know, I could always use it for like makeup brushes or, you know, just storing other stationery in there, I guess. Um, but yeah, very nice of her to buy me this, very, very thoughtful. Um, so I'm sure we will make some use of it, um, but I'm sure she said it went down to a pound and it used to be £2.50. This thing is actually not from Primark, but I'm going to kind of put it here and hope for the best and that nobody gets angry. Um, because this was actually from the Pound Shop. It's from Poundland, so if you are passing a Poundland, by all means feel free to pop in and see if they've got yours. Um, so technically probably cheaper than it would be in Primark anyway. Um, so obviously it was a pound and it is a Hufflepuff tote bag. It's very basic, um, you know, it's just pound shop uh, standard, I guess. Very simple print of the Hufflepuff logo, but my dad picked this up for me, bless him. Um, I was looking at them, sorry, in Poundland, and he said, which one's your favourite? Like, as if you have a favourite house rather than, like, the house you're part of. So I was like, well, I do like Hufflepuff, so he told me to pick this up. Um, so that was really sweet of him to get me that. And again, always very handy just to have in my bag. That I picked up, um, actually, one of these I saw the YouTuber Stephanie Wyatt wearing in one of her videos, and I think this is probably where she got it from. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, Yes, that's where I think she got it from. So, um, it's a little jewelry set, and this was two pounds from five pounds, and it's just kind of a sweet related one. So, on there, you get uh, some plain earrings, some little like lollipop earrings, uh, some like quills, some chocolate frogs, and then you get three necklaces. One of them is like a long chocolate frog, uh, just on like a chain detailing. The other two are kind of more like a choker style. One has just got a quill, and the other one again is the chocolate frog. And I think these are very, very, very cool. And then the last couple of things I bought are definitely the coolest things that we have. Um, so. I annoyingly had to buy these in two different sets, um, but we now have all four houses, so it is quite cool. So I'm just going to show you them all together. These are £5 for a pack of two, so essentially £10 for these is quite expensive. Um, but how cool are these? All four houses in tea towels. Now, as I've mentioned, I'm Hufflepuff, my other half is a Gryffindor, so Sod's Law we had to buy these separately because I wanted one and then he wanted his. Um, so I've now got the Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff one and we also have the Gryffindor and the Slytherin. The best thing about these is that all four colours are really, really nice. So the red is like, it is quite a vibrant red. The green is a lovely shade of green. I really like this. Um, and then the blue is like a very primary, in fact both of them, they're very kind of primary yellow and blue colours. And like I say, these are five pounds for the set of two, depending on obviously which ones you want. They do come like this. You can't like mix and match them, so they don't do like a Ravenclaw and Slivering one or anything like that. Um, but I do think these are very, very, very cool and very happy. And I think they'll look very cool in our kitchen as well. And finally, the last thing that I got was a pricier item, I would say. Um, this was eight pounds, so quite an expensive item for Primark. But again, I think this is so cool. It is part of the Honey Duke range and it is 10 LED lights and they kind of come in these uh, 10 containers that are meant to be like little um, little bottles all of different sweets I guess. So you've got lemon drops, uh, there's like blueberry, there's the Honey Duke's logo and then it has like kind of like lots of confetti I'm guessing so the light hits them and they are so cool. As soon as I saw them I was like I need to have these in my life. I'm very very happy that I have these. I think they are so cool. Very excited to get them out finally. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore these. That is everything that I bought. Um, I'm sorry that I've rambled on a bit. I've tried to get this out as quick as I can so I can make it as short as possible. Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you've seen anything in Primark recently that I haven't mentioned. Always, always very interested into what you guys have seen in your local Primarks and I can be on the hunt for it myself. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do mostly put up videos every single week covering a whole range of things. It does seem like it's mostly hauls, but that's just because I have a problem with buying things and I can't help it. Um, but I do try to do a whole variety of things. If you did like it, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.